Yeah. But you have a lot of scenes with Elton. Yeah, yeah, now that I must have been him. great fun. It was amazing. It was really amazing. And he's so he's so good in the movie. And he's such a wonderful person. He's really he was excited to be there and and you know really had a good time acting and stuff. And I was trying to be very professional. Um, you know, so we'd been doing it for like a couple of weeks, and then eventually I just couldn't take it anymore. And I was like, um, um, there was this one time I was 16 and I went to a concert and my friend was a roadie, and so I went backstage and you walked by me. <laughs> <laughs> and that was it. You know, that was it. And that was that's the end of the story. And he was so he was so nice about it. He was very. He was uh, like, oh. oh. Uh, and he was singing in front of you. You were there, and he was like giving yeah. you a. Yeah, we mm. we were. Yeah, he was sitting at a grand piano, and we were setting things up. And he just sang. He sang songs all day wow. long, and people couldn't believe it. Wow. Yeah. Now the the reason uh, why I'm excited about Elton John in the movie, not just because I'm a fan and he's terrific in the film, but I know that they're planning a. Um, biographical film on a certain part of uh, Elton John's life. And I believe that that part is going to be played by someone who's on the couch right now. Paul, it's not you, is it? <laughs> <laughs> well, Karen, can we talk about this, the fact that you're... Let's talk about it, yeah. You're going to be playing Elton John? Uh, I am indeed. I'm going to be playing Elton John in the musical. <laughs> um, it's something that I've been so, so excited about. But Elton's production company and Matthew Vaughan's production company, who made Kingsman, are uh, planning a musical fantasy, not quite biopic, about the early years of Elton John. And um, it's going to feature his songs. And I'm going to do the old acting and singing. Wow. That's well, you've got a beautiful voice. I've heard yeah. you sing before. You do have a lovely voice. You sang Thank on the you. show here once. You've got a great voice. I did, I did. I tried to steal the limelight from Hugh Jackman <laughs> uh, and didn't succeed. But there we go. It was a very valid attempt. Uh, and so this will be the early period. Will this be his flamboyant period as well when he goes crazy with the stage wear? Or just yes, before? exactly. And uh, as far as I'm aware, the plan is that it will be the world's first R-rated musical. Wow. As well. well that's it's going to be a very unabashed in its depiction yes. of him, I think. So it'll be quite full on. Of course, that's Elton, as the, the older folk will remember him. Younger people might not know that he was so flamboyant there. Uh, yeah. We have some... Uh, you, when you came on, you were talking about Eddie Eagle last time. Yes. And I got you to put on the Eddie Eagle glasses yes. to see whether or not you look... And it was a very uh, accurate representation. I think I know what's coming. Yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> you do, I would love to see. This would be a first oh, look. Oh, uh, yeah. But I have glasses for everyone, so if you want to help sweet. yourself, you can help yourself okay. to a pair there. Okay, okay you first. <laughs> you go, go with, those. with those guys. Oh, I these like these. Of, these are kind of pedestrian. Yeah. 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 Wow, that's pretty good. Well, they're very healthy, too. Yeah. 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 Uh, wow. Oh. For you, it's also a pair. I've got the ones Elton wears yeah. when he's just weeding. Yeah. Just <laughs> 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 I 